If you had to call uh, UFC Live on Versus 6 one word, it would probably be farce. The UFC give out um, bonuses for the best knockout, best submission and the best fight. The UFC really now need to give out um, uh, the bum decision uh, or the bum uh, referee stoppage of the night because uh, Mario Yamazaki was on terrible form um, uh, that, that night, absolutely terrible form. Uh, I like to pick on Herb Dean because um, he would seem to be, to me, uh, the Cecil Peoples of the referee world. But Mario Yamazaki, I mean, he, he was just, he wanted to get out of there, didn't he, really? It started right away uh, with the Walal Watson and Joseph Sandoval uh, match. And um, this, what happened was, basically, uh, Sandoval got popped on his ass, And the moment he hit the ground, Yamazaki was like, yep, 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 it's all over, it's all over, it's all over. And uh, Sandoval was just sat on, on his ass on the floor, like, what on earth is going on? Um, well, Al Watson had already uh, upset me uh, by uh, going in for a low blow. Um, he was, however, I have to admit, the most apologetic uh, fighter I've seen um, after committing a low blow. So perhaps we can almost forgive him. Um, I think if, if fighters are going to do low blows, they need to watch that match and they need to see... Uh, what well Al Watson's response to uh, his faux pas was, um, and that's the sort of uh, that's the sort of level of um, remorse that one expects. I don't think that that was a, a correct stoppage at all. Uh, I think Yamazaki might have been a bit confused because there was a headshot, there was a little bit of sort of running away uh, by Sandoval, but. Um, Never was he knocked out. It wasn't a flash knockout. It, he was just pushed onto the ground. Um, and what you have to remember is that these people train for a very, very long time, spend a lot of money, and then have this tarnish their records. The UFC really needs to start paying um, almost a compensation uh, bonus to fighters that get um, their records tarnished, their work for the last six months damaged uh, because a referee um, just makes an abstract call. I mean, that had nothing to do with safety at all. Nothing to do with safety. He just wanted that fight over, um, which is annoying, really. Uh, and it didn't stop there. Um, at least, I suppose, in that round, uh, in that, that match, um, Joseph Sandoval, uh, was it was all over pretty quickly. Uh, the same can't be said for uh, TJ Grant um, and Shane Well, TJ Grant, to me, just looks like um, um, Horn, Jeremy Horn. I don't know why, but there we are. Um, but uh, uh, Shane Roller um, was uh, caught in a, a submission. What happened was he got caught in a choke. Um, popped his head out of that um, because that looked like it was going to be fight ending um, and as soon as he popped out um, TJ Grant went for uh, a, a different submission I think it was an arm bar or something like that and uh, Mario Yamazaki um, calls it off as soon as the transition happens um, He's saying, I think, that there was a verbal uh, um, submission. That's something that uh, Shane Roller um, angrily uh, denies. Um, it's certainly not. It certainly didn't look like it. I mean, I think there's a there's a high chance that um, that that fight was going to end at that point anyway. Uh, but it was a it was too close. And um, the fact that Mario Yamazaki had already done that once before, you start to think, look, um, uh, you you start to not give him the benefit of the doubt because of it, uh, basically. And then uh, later on, still, 
uh, quite high on the card. We had Charlie Bren Bremerman and Anthony Johnson. And what annoys me about this is that the UFC um, have obviously decided that this was a legitimate stoppage. And the reason they've decided, we know they've decided that, is because they've actually given Anthony Johnson, uh, the winner of this fight, um, who shouldn't have won at that point, um, the, uh, the bonus for knockout of the night. That's not good. You shouldn't be um, rewarding... Uh, you shouldn't be rewarding a winner who has who who was won through a bum stoppage. Even if his performance was very good, I have to say that um, Charlie Berman was was just just pretty rubbish, really. His attempts to try and get um, uh, Anthony Johnson to the ground uh, were ridiculous. I mean, he sort of grabbed hold of his foot, I think it was, and then he was just sort of crouched on the floor, wouldn't move at all. Um, and, you know, he was he was taking a lot of punishment, not giving anything back. Um, finally, uh, they, uh, they he sort of got him down. I think just because Anthony uh, Johnson sort of gave up at that point, but it was short-lived, and as soon as they got back to their feet, um, there was a, a, a head kick. Uh, he wasn't knocked out. I don't think it was even a flash knockout. Um, but uh, Mario Yamazaki was there uh, to step into the, the breach and say, game over. Um, three in one night is, is really poor. Um, uh, so it's a pity because I used to I used to think Mario Yamazaki was one of the best. Um, he's got uh, a lot to do to redeem himself there, and the UFC legitimising that by giving Johnson the knockout of the night. I mean, Jens thinks it's fantastic. You can hear him cheeping away there, um, but I don't think it's right. And then there was Stefan Struve and Pat Barry. Stefan Struve is even taller than he was two or three years ago when I saw him. Um, no way was he that tall when I saw him. I swear he's still growing. Um, because Pat Barry, uh, well, looked small compared to Stefan Struve, and he wasn't just tall, he was actually quite wide as well. I remember him sort of a little bit as a beanpole back at uh, Cage Gladiators. Very strange to see him him win. I mean, Pat Barry, you know, he's doing a lot of, you know, he's hype and die, isn't he, at the moment, rather than hype or die. I, I'd like to see him uh, actually sort of um, do better than that. Uh, yes, the uh, the sort of slam was quite exciting, but, um, you know, he... I'm surprised he got caught in that in that submission like that. To be totally honest, um, I thought he was winning, winning the first round. Um, the second round, difficult to tell because uh, you know he seemed just Stroop was just so big, monstrously big, bigger than I remember, far bigger than I remember. Unless Pat Barry has always been that small, I don't know. Uh, my um, man of the card is uh, Paul Fat. Um, another person who I used to watch uh, in Cage Gladiators, um, he sort of hasn't changed at all, really, <laughs> except that his submission, uh, he's now finishing people by other submissions rather than the sass angle, which is a little bit of a disappointment, I suppose, but, uh, but no, um, I thought he was fantastic. You know, and I did think that he would he would beat Michael Johnson. I did say that in my uh, prediction video, so um, I'm not disappointed, really. Uh, 